Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Jimmy. For those of you who've been here before, we appreciate you. For those of you new to the channel, please take a moment to consider subscribing. If you like this video and you find it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Comments are always welcome. We get to them pretty quick. Uh, but with that being said, today in the video, we're going to address one of the problems with living in your RV full time. You know how you got all those compartments on the outside your camera for storage? It's like everybody's camper key fits your your storage compartments even with your front door so we're going to tackle all the locks really but today we're going to focus on these cam locks right here you can see these cam locks you guys can see that it comes with it's the barrel barrel keys so they're a little harder to duplicate uh, we got these on amazon it's a four pack they're key to like and the keys do come out lock or unlock so you can get your key out if you unlocked it it's got the offset latch for the back and then it also comes with a straight one so these will make it a lot safer and nobody will have the key that you have for your storage compartment so with that being said let's get out there and put these in we got like i said we got four we're gonna put four in we got some more on order we'll get those in for the other compartments because each compartment you'll see when we got there has a lock and like a handle that one corner is a weak point so we're gonna put locks in both corners so you have to unlock two but it really will help you with the security of your stuff in your camper. So let's get out there. All right, guys, we're out here at one of the compartments on the RV. Sorry for the wind noise, hope it ain't too bad there. Got some weather moving in later, so the wind's going. All right, as you can see here, this one, this is our current lock. We're gonna take that off. You're only gonna need a couple tools, really. You're gonna need a Phillips or a street plate to get that back and screw out. A pair of pliers, chain lock, something to get the, the locking nut or the nut off to pull the, the lock out. So let's do that. Once you get the screw off, the, the lock thing on the back will come out. Just set that aside. Get your pliers. Loosen that nut. Take that right off. Then push your lock out of the front. Be careful you don't want to chip your front of your stuff there. I know I'm the top of my head's cut off. You get the point. Set that aside. We're gonna grab our new lock with the chrome handle that came off, the pull handle that came off the other one. Now when you put this in on this side, this is you guys, I don't know if you guys can see this, but on here, you see that they got the two lines, there's one here, one here. You wanna put one at 12 o'clock and one at three o'clock. That, that seems to work the best. So we're gonna put that up there. Um, you might wanna put some butyl tape or silicone on the back here to help seal it off so water don't get in. We're gonna use silicone to get it on there. You don't need a lot, it'll, it'll squirt out of there. These things can make a mess, so. Make sure you have a paper towel handy. We had a chunk of dry silicone in there, so I'll get released and that just squirted more than we needed out. But wipe that off. Here we go, just a little, just around the edge. Like that, I don't know if you can see it right there. Silicone is around the edge. Now we just set it back in, just like you did originally on the original, or like you took the original one out. We set it on there. Get the new nut that came with your cam lock. Tighten that down. Make sure you hold the lock on the front straight because it will twist in the hole a little bit. Mm. Hope you guys can hear me. Like I said, this wind's pain in the butt. I'm shooting this on my Note 10. You 
have to go crazy to tighten it just enough. If you did it right, the silicone, you guys can't see it, but the silicone squirted out of the top. That's what you want. You can wipe it off now or wait till it dries and cut it off. Either way. Okay, now that you got that on there, you pick the, the one that's going to work for you. Ours, I believe, is going to be the straight one. We'll try and find out. The other one that came off of the old one was slightly turned but the new ones that came are they're really turned so I don't think they'll work so we're going to try the straight one you're going to want to set it so it's in the unlocked position it'll it'll point to the right like this you'll see it's pointing that way you want it to point that way then when you turn the key to lock it well we should double check that Turn the key to lock it, it'll go into position. My arms in the way, I'm sorry. Like that. Before you put that one on, there's that little cam thing that goes on the back. Make sure you don't forget that. Put that on. Put the cam lock on. Put the nylock nut on there. Once you get that and you tighten that down, be able to test it and make sure that it's tight enough for you. We'll tighten the nut down. Like that. Technically that's all there is to it, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna close it and see if the lock locks and holds it tight. Let's get our barrel keys. There you guys go. So you can see us down here. We got it here. We got it in the locked position. It's locked, but see we got we got a little bit of play there we don't we don't want that much play because we want it to seal good when you close the door so I mean it is up against the seal so you got to play it by ear decide if it works for you if not try out a combination of the other angled uh, latch on the back or maybe even have to reuse the old one that came off the other one so I'm gonna mess with this for a bit and I'll let you know what works all right, guys, for us, it ended up being just the straight uh, straight latch on the back. The other one had too much of a, a deflection on it. To, it was too tight. It wouldn't, it wouldn't work. So this is the only one that worked for us. It, it feels like it's a little loose, but it is sealing up against the seal, so it'll keep the water out. If you want it tighter, you might have to bend yours a little bit. I have no way to do that right now, but this seal's tight enough. So let's go around and do all the other latches to make this nice and secure. That's number two down. We're gonna hit some of these other ones, then we'll come back and change these latch ones to locks also. Just a side note, that little cam thing you put on the back, depending on which way you flip that, determines which way locks unlock with the key. So if you if you prefer spinning the key to the right to lock, you can put on one way. If you just, you know, you wanna turn the key the other way to unlock or lock, you can turn it the other way. So you can play with that and see what works for you. 
I like to turn right to lock, righty tighty, so I figured tighten it, lock, lock it up. So, works beautifully. On to the next one. All right, guys, as you can see, we're back out here at the first one. We went to do the outdoor kitchen, but that door's quite like three times as thick, so we need a cam lock that's like two and a half inches. It's got the, the barrel length on, it's gonna be two and a half inches. We got that ordered, we'll get that put on there. Hopefully that works. But right now we're gonna just switch this over to the this other one, which is the lever on the side that turns on yours. We're gonna switch it over to cam lock too. Just makes it that much safer. That way, you know, nobody can't pry up one corner, they can get it going. So we're gonna do that, but if this is something you guys wanted to do, it's an easy job, it takes a couple minutes each door, literally a couple minutes. And then um, you'll have it more secure. Nobody will have a key that yours has. So it's a good project to do. With that being said, guys, we will be doing a lot more videos like this. Reviews, updates, upgrades, things that make RV life, full-time RV living like we're doing easier. Um, if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing, liking, comment, sharing, all that good stuff. And until next time, enjoy the adventure, guys.